Hello my YouTube fan. Nice to have you back with me again. Back on the Diverse channel. What we've got today is a chair. Yeah, well we know that. Ah yeah, but this is a gaming chair. And what had happened with it, apparently it seems to be leaning in this corner on the frame. So I suspect where there's a square box section there or round or whatever, it's snapped in that corner. So the idea is strip it down, see what the damage is and just see if we can just put a spot of weld in that corner. So yeah, that's what we're on with. So what I've done so far is I've taken um, just the clips off the side, these plastic sleeve clip things or whatever. Um, three screws on them, or two, depending which side it is. And then what we're doing now is we're just disconnecting the uh, aluminium screws. And then what happens then is I can take this back off and then start peeling this back and have a look at what the damage is. So, okay. See how it goes at that. Something different. I ain't got my tripod at the moment because I've lent Dino it. He's gone filming at the airport. He likes to film aer airplanes. If you want to check him out, he's called Desh Aviation. I think that's the latest one anyway. <laughs> but yeah, he's got a keen interest in planes. Want to know what about planes? Contact Desh Aviation. D-E-S-H. <laughs> D -E -S. Um Yeah. And have a look at his videos. If you like looking at planes, big ones, he likes them, the bigger the better. Then, uh, yeah, give him a check out. So, I'm going to have to shut down in a minute because as I say, I'm having to hold this by hand. Not this. <laughs> the camera. Because I've got no tripod. I've got one that needs fixing. So that's another to do on the list when I'm feeling up to it. Roll on spring. Now, I don't know whether this will collapse in a minute, but that should come off now. So we can leave the top bit intact. Now, I'm going to take it off now. Then we'll have a look at the corner. So we've got the top off. That's down on the floor. And yes, we can see the damage now. There's the tube. Hang on. Just let it get down here. There's the tube there. That's where it's broken off. There. I think somebody's got a bit too excited on this chair. Well, I don't want to peel this lot back too much because I don't want to um, not be able to get it back together because sometimes this is a nightmare. There are a couple of screws under here. Four on this plate. I think I'll take that off. I'll strip it all down. Then I, all I've got then is just the seat on its own. Uh, then I can get a good weld round it. Peel this back. So right, I'll do some more stripping off. Here we go. Not me. This. Right, upside down. These four screws off. That takes this apart. Set these off, these arms. Um, probably take this off as well. This is cool. When you when you sat on it, these slide out. Look at that. Cool. Got a really nice chair given. I'll fix it and it'll be worth a fortune. Bring it to turn. Bring all your tap to him. Here we go then. Um, yeah, you can see it better there, look. Mig weld, but I reckon it's going to be really quite heavy has been on that. So that's the back off it. No, not the back off it, the, uh, the bottom off it. Piece by piece, so we've got that off. Um, take these two off now, and then pull this out that way. And then we're cooking. Oh, 
I wonder how many of these go to tip every year simply because somebody don't have a mate that can do a bit of welding been trying to sort the workshop out so it's a bit warmer um, and just make some alterations while I can um, This is for Joe, this, because Joe says, what alterations did you do in your workshop? So if you're watching this, Joe, yeah, this is it. I don't know if you remember it before from any other videos, but everything was just overpowering it. A big shelf came out here and what have you. But it's all nice and tidy now. Amanda. Amanda in Michigan, America. If you are taking note of this, look, there's your number plate. Pride of place. Thank you, Dad, for it. I love it. Um, yeah, it's a really old one, that. 1976. So it's a real retro number plate, is that? Anybody sees this in America, if they want to send me any American number plates, I would greatly appreciate it. I love them. I love stuff like this. I've been wanting to get all these sorted out. I've had them kicking about garage for ages. My mate Nick, give me that. Tricky Nick Marts. If you like a good story, Red, Nick will read a story to you for bedtime. Good bit of PG Woodhouse. So check Tricky Nicky Marts out. Um, these I've collected from some boot sales. A couple of old jugs. I've not tried to paint them, I've just like rubbed them down best I can and just oil them. But I, I like retro stuff. Um, so yeah, it's a bit warmer now because it was just corrugated sheet in there. I had some help to put that up. Um, but yeah, well pleased with it now. I can get around my workshop. I, I just like to diddle in here, as any man does. They say a man lives longer but if he's got a shed. So any women watching this and your husband wants a shed, give him one! Don't be so cruel. You've got your kitchen, haven't you? Oh, I shouldn't have said that, should I? <laughs> uh, should I take that back? No, no. Some women really like the kitchen. They love to cook in it, don't they, boys? Yes. Right. Okay, let's carry on with this. Enough of the frivolity. Just a few more. That should be alright. I can push that sponge out that way. That's broken. Oh, bent. Look at it. Oh, man, it's tat. That ain't strong, is it? Tat. Right. Next. Bench. I just had an afterthought, which is... No, well, actually, this is a before thought, isn't it? Um, and I thought, well, if I put this in position, weld it and what have you. It's only a little tack weld. But if, if I put this in position and tack weld it there, um, then chances are these holes won't line up with the chair. And you're going to struggle. So I put this on first. And what I noticed was as well, there's a bracket that's ripped off here. I don't know where that is. It might be inside. I don't know but it, it's in place now so all I've got to do is just bar that up into position and then it should be okay then these holes will match up if I can't find the other piece I'll just have to tack a bit of plate in there for a bit bit of support extra there Thin is this tube, so you have to just do it a bit at a time. 
that it was hiding inside the chair so what I'll do is I'll connect that to that now put the bolt in lay it down flat and then put a weld across that that should put that to rights what do you reckon to gaming vid then El? <laughs> my daughter wanted me to do a gaming video well, it's to do with gaming, isn't it? It's a gaming chair. What are you, what are you complaining at? <laughs> oh, dear. Right, that's that. That's not going anywhere now. Okie dokie. Right. <sighs> Start putting it back together now, then. And hopefully it will. Right, so it's a matter of stapling all this back together now. Piece by piece, little by little. I don't think this is exactly the right clips. Bear with me. There we go. Don't tighten them all the way till you've got both sides done. Um, and a good... Where are we? Can't say. <laughs> a good punch is a, an idea. Just so that you can line these holes up through the plastic. Um, so. All the bolts in the holes. Right, now I'll screw the panels on. And there we have it. All sorted. All back together. No leans. Yep, all that's needed now is just a little bit and find it. Bit of polish and that will bring it back up to new. So, if you fancy going to tip and picking up an old chair and having a go at to repairing one, that's how they come apart. I know it's no rocket science, um, but if you've just never seen one stripped, I thought I'd, I'd do it for you. Um, do it together. Yeah. Right, okay then. That's all for now. <laughs>